Hi fitness friends. Today we have a triple threat torture number two. This is a collaboration between three people also. Lanula had the original routine. I took it, made some modifications in the timing and in some of the moves. And then also Stephanie jumped in and gave us a nice core burnout. You all know how much I love ab burnouts. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, of course, but it's sure to burn and it's going to be a challenge. So we're going to hit this routine hard. We're going to be using heavy weights, medium weights, lighter weights, also my 16 inch elevation and a ball. If you don't have an elevation or a ball, you can do the move straight from the ground, but I do recommend that you grab any kind of weight that you have to make this routine a challenge for you. Okay, get yourself warmed up, grab your water, grab your equipment, and let's get ready to blow through this triple threat torture. All right, everyone, I hope you're all warmed up. We're gonna start right away, beginning with a Tabata pair. This Tabata pair is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight times through. You don't need any equipment at all. We're beginning with four mountain climbers to a double knee tuck while you're in plank, okay? So, get down. One, two, three, four, double knee tuck. Again, one, two, three, four, tuck. One, two, three, four, tuck. One, two, three, four, tuck. All right, we're going into up and over donkey kicks to a tuck jump. So, I'm kicking up and over, landing, jumping up for a tuck. So hands down, kick it up and over, tuck, up and over. So you're almost doing like a cartwheel here, okay? But not quite. If you have a hard time with the donkey kicks up and over, just do like a pipe glute raise and then jump it up for a tuck. We are back to our mountain climbers and tucks. Four mountain climbers, one tuck. One, two, three, four, tuck. One, two, three, four, tuck. One, two, three, four, tuck. One, two, three, four. Good job. Whew. Up and overs again. Here we go. Up and over, down, tuck up. It bounced the tie fighter right off a speaker. <laughs> All right, I know you guys can't see that. Um, mountain climbers, tough jumps again. We're halfway through. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Tuck. Two, three, four. Tuck. Donkeys up and over. You could also do a double leg donkey kick. Which would be like an angry donkey because you're jumping up for a tuck jump. You can do whatever you want here. Yeah. 
Good work. All right. Moving straight on to our first triplet. We are doing, oh my goodness, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, three moves, three times through. So, whew, nine minutes total, nine rounds. We're gonna need heavy weights for this and your box jump. 10 second countdown has started, beginning with a squat and press. Grab your weights. Remember, this is 50 seconds. All right, sink so it down. Nice deep squat, come up and press. Down, press. Use your momentum from your squat to help you pop those weights up. Use a heavy weight to really challenge yourself here. Stay here. Keep going. Nice deep squats. Sit your butt back far. Squeeze it at the top. Three, two, and one. We have a deadlift and a row. So I'm dropping my weights to my medium weight. 15 pounds for this. I'm gonna do a wide row Violin in a deadlift, okay? So, row it down, row, come back up, squeeze. Wide row, and up. Wide row. Make sure you control those weights. Your shoulders stay down away from your ears. You're squeezing your shoulder blades together. And your elbows are going out wide. Squeeze through your glutes and your hamstrings on the way back up. Keep going. Nice work. All right, now here is our box jump to a star jump. So, I'm gonna quickly move these weights and grab my weight of vest, okay? Really gonna push myself here. Box jump. Stand it up. Jump down, star jump, box jump, up, down, star jump. So this is just like an explosive star jump. After you land from that star jump, you're going right into a box jump. Standing up on top of your box. Squeeze through that squat. Nice work. Breath. 
even though you're challenging all those muscles. Deep breaths. A slight recovery here with this move, even though it's hard. It's just not so much cardio. work. All right, get your weights out of the way. Do your box jumps and star jumps again. Sometimes, I'll tell you what, power blocks are great and sometimes they're really hard to change. Okay, let's go. Box jump, stand up, bring it down, star jump. Less than 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. Oh my goodness. Deadlifts and wide rows. Here we go. Deadlift, row. Keep your form good, your butt's back. Abs are tight. Weights are close to your legs on the way down and then all the way back up. Squeeze those muscles in your back. Squeeze your butt. Even if you're not using a real heavy weight, you can really feel deadlifts if you make your muscles work against each other and squeeze. Staying tight throughout the whole move. Okay, we have our last round of box jumps and star jumps. Get your weights down. Let's go. Box jump, stand up, down, star jump, explode. Stand up. Make a difference. Okay, first triplet done. Nice work. All right, we are moving on to our next round of Tabata. So, we're doing star burpees, which a star jump at the top and a jack push up at the bottom. Three mountain climbers to a single leg tricep push up. All right, 
Get our Tabata up. We're not pushing pause yet. Here we go, 10 second countdown started. Star burpees. I know you thought you were done with star jumps, right? Not yet, here we go. Down, jack it out, push up, pound it in, start up. Come on, stay with me. We had a little bit of recovery there while I changed my timer. It's hard now. Nice work. All right, mountain climbers to a tricep push up. Keeping one leg up for that push up. So each time you do mountain climbers, you'll be switching legs. One, two, three. Push up. One, two, three. Tricep push up. Your elbows are in, grazing your rib cage. Hands are going right under your armpits. One. Okay, start burpees again. Regular push-ups for these. With a jack, sorry, not really regular. Let's do it. When you jack your legs out, try to go right down into that push-up. If you can, use all that explosive strength you have in your upper body. Next stop. Triceps and single legs. Deep breath. Let's do it. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Already. Start burpees again. We're halfway through. Here we go. Start jump. Legs, curl, 
back. When you curl, make sure your biceps stay in, your, your elbows stay in, you're squeezing through your biceps. In your lunge, you're taking a nice big forward step, your knee is not going over your toe, pushing off through your heel, feeling that burn. Deep breaths. Here we go. Keep it up. You have less than 10 seconds here. And you're dropping your weights for the next two moves. Okay, set those weights down. I'm putting my vest on. My vest is 12 pounds, so if you do want to challenge yourself with the weight, you can hold one at your chest like a goblet. All right. Squat jump. Reverse lunge. Switching legs. Squat jump. Lunge it. Jump. Back lunge. Jump. Back lunge. Keep it here. You got it. Keep your chest up. Sink down in those jump squats. Explode up. Nice work. You're fully warmed up now. Your heart rate has been elevated. For nearly 20 minutes, over 20 minutes probably. If I add it up, you're good to go. Stay here. Okay, we now have a ninja heel grab. If you can't do a ninja, you're just popping up. If you can do a ninja, get down on your knees. Use your arms as momentum. Pop it up. Heel grab. Get back down. Here we go. Doing these with a weighted vest makes a huge difference. Guys, I remember when I first started recording my workouts, I couldn't do a ninja. So, if you can't do this, keep trying. You'll get there. Put your hands down, pop it up. A few short months later, I'm doing mine with a weighted vest. I never thought I would be doing this move with a weighted vest. Okay. Although I feel like laying down on the ground. <laughs> okay. Forward lunges again, bicep curls. Let's go. Alternate. Down. Curl, press up. Up, down, curl, up. Curl, up. Come on. Up. Curl. Press back up. Down. Curl. You're done. Nice work. Set your weights down. Squat jump to reverse lunge. Here we go. Sink it back from squat jump. Back lunge. Get down nice and deep, step far away from your body for the reverse lunge. Really work your butt. Nice job. Stay here. Breathe deep. We only have 15 seconds left. Keep it going. Squat jump. Nice deep reverse lunge. Squat jump. And we're done. Okay. And then straight on. You know what's next? Those ninjas and heel grabs. Here we go. Ninja. Heel grab. 
I think I said this already. Like me, cartwheels. I love cartwheels and handstands, guys, so that's why they're here. All right, we have the four mountain climbers and tucks again. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Tuck. One, two, three, four. Last time, the mountain climbers and double knee tucks. Last time for the whole routine. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice work. All right. Whew. Deep breath. We have our last triplet group to go through. We're doing sumo squats with a side leg lift. I'm going to hold two 24 pound weights. Your legs are out wide, your toes are out wide. Squatting down. When you come up, if you don't want to hold your weights up on your shoulders, lay them on your legs and make that leg lift even harder, okay? Then we're doing alternating kneel downs and side squats. So you're just doing exactly that. You're kneeling down, coming up to a side squat, and then going on the other leg. Kneel down, up, side squat, okay? Whew. Then roll back to a plank hop to two knee tucks. So I'm not going to wear my vest at all, but I'm going to hold my heavy weights for the first two intervals. 10 second countdown started. Beginning with those sumos. Legs are out wide, toes are out wide. Come on. Squat down, come up, leg lift. You're gonna leg lift on the other side after this squat. Keep it going. I typically would put my legs even a little bit wider than this, but because of the way I'm holding my weights, it's more comfortable if I just put my toes out wide, have my knees facing them, and keep my stance a little bit smaller. Keep 
going. You have less than 15 seconds left. Oh, I know that those leg lifts are killer on your booty. At least they are on mine. Okay, set the weights down. Shake out your hands. We have our kneel downs next to side squats. So I'm just gonna hold one heavy weight for these at my chest. All right, so kneel down, come back up, keep that leg up, side squat. Come back together, kneel down on the other leg. Sit back, come up, side squat. Nice work, switch it. Oops, kneel down, come up, side squat. Together, kneel down, sit back, press up, side squat. This move, by the way, is really working very similar move muscles as the pistol squat. So you might want to remember this one for if you cannot do a pistol squat and I'm doing them, or if you have bad knees and you want to modify the pistol squat. All right, get the weights out of the way. Our third move is a rollback to a plank hop to two tuck jumps. So you're rolling back, shooting your legs back up under you, hop into a plank hop, two tuck jumps. One, two, come up, one, two. I'm doing two tucks at the top too because I don't know which one when you live in. So we're adding them both in here. Hop it in, up, roll it back. Hop it in plank. Two tucks, one, two, hop it in, two tucks up, roll back, plank, two tucks, nice job, we're done, okay, sumo squats, leg lifts again, grab your weight, toes out wide, Keep your legs in line and your knees are facing them. Let's do it. Squat it down. Come up. Leg lift. Down. Up. Keep your chest up. Keep your core tight. Squeeze through your glutes. Up. Breaths. Nice work. Ten seconds left. Come on, you got this. Finish this group out strong. Nice job. Set your weights down. Grab one of them if you're doing it like me. Kneeling back. To a side squat, alternating. Here we go. Kneel down, side squat. Back together, switch legs. Kneel it down, press up, side squat. Kneel down, sit back to your heel, up, side squat. I think I neglected to do that the first couple times. So kneel down, back to your heel, up, side squat. Good job. Kneel down. Back to your heel, up, side squat. Mind and body, everyone. Connect them. Focus on your movements. Focus on the muscles you're working. It will make all the difference for you. Side squat. Kneel it back. Back to your heel. Okay. We're back to the rollbacks already. Roll back into a plank hop. Two plank tucks. Jump it up for two tuck jumps. Here we go. Roll back, come up, tuck. One, two, jump it in. One, two, roll back. Keep 
going. You have 10 seconds left. Last time through this triplet, grab your heavy weights. Sumo squats, leg lifts. Deep breath, toes out wide, squat it down. Come up, leg lift it. Oh. Come on, feel those muscles burn. Know how good you're gonna feel when you're done with this routine. Jack. So I'm going to go at an angle now. 
Here we go. Seven high, seven in between, seven four. 
Get your balance. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness. Okay, got one more round on each leg. And then we're gonna move into Stephanie's ab burnout. Which promises to be torturous. Ab burnout is always torturous for me. Let's go. I'm gonna go on the leg I just finished to start differently. I know, that's crazy, right? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch it. Let's get right into it. Low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, four. Holy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness. Okay. Best comes off. You're coming down from that. We have four hardcore ab moves. First three, you're doing down on the mat. Third is a back extension on the ball. So, beginning with an eagle crunch. This is where you cross your arms and legs. Well, as if you're twisted up like a pretzel. Okay. And you're crunching your elbows to your knees, so it's a double crunch, all right? Now, let me preface this by saying, Stephanie has us doing 50 reps of each move. I'm gonna do 25 and do this through twice. Go for 50 like she is, okay? You all know I struggle with these, so I'm going for 25. Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, five more for me. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh my gosh, okay. Next move is a half cannon. This is a millionaire koi move. What you're doing is reaching under and clapping under each leg. We're going for 25 again if you're sticking with me. All right, so your legs stay elevated the whole time. Knees are bent. Your rotating legs. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty. All right, we have Russian twist. I'm gonna hold a 15 pound weight and try to keep my legs up the whole time. All right, so grab your weight if you wanna use it. If not, you're just twisting back and forth, keeping your legs up. Going for 25, let's go. One, two, three. Ten. 
10. One, two, three, four, 25. Okay, our next last move in this group of four is a back extension on the ball. Now, Stephanie also wrote that she does a left side crunch, a back extension, then a right side crunch. So she goes for 75 straight. I can't do that. So I'm doing straight up back extensions on my ball. If you don't have a ball, you're doing back extensions on the floor. Go ahead and try to do the side crunches if you can. Right, let's go, 25. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do it. cannons. Guys, my abs are just on fire. All right. Let's go. One, two, three, four. That's 15. Challenge yourself even if you don't like something or it's hard for you. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Russian twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. extensions on your ball. Remember if you want to do the left crunch, right crunch, back extension, you can go ahead and do that too. Give it a try. See how it feels for you. All right, let's do it. Wave 25. Squeeze through your whole back, butt, posterior chain. Keep it all tight. Let's go. Arms behind your head. One, two, ten. Eight. 
15. changing the moves, making them a bit easier. Um, and thanks, Stephanie, for that killer core burnout. Also, I believe it was Jory that did the Bulgarian post. She found that, I think, on men's health. So, thank you all for working out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Drink lots of water, refuel your body, and I will see you next time.